I want to say we got some new training. We got some new things for we'll put your holding company together. Links below. And the man course, the man program course is on sale until the end of the month. Links below. Go ahead and check those out. Plus, we're about to get into some real deep stuff. All right. So let's roll into this video. Let's talk about the new America right now. There's a ton of tick tock videos talking about inflation, the price of rent, the price of food, the price of dog food, the price of eggs, and they go on and on and on. And I want you to take note of how many young, attractive women are making these videos. It's numerous. And my favorite is this nurse who comes on and I make good money and my husband make good money and we have a house and we have two cars and we don't live fancy. We make six figures and we're kind of struggling. And the new America is getting ready to chop off some heads. Let's go back to the pandemic. I think what the United States government did with the releasing of $6 trillion into the economy was one of the worst things that it did. You know this tough housing market that we're living in? It was created because of policies put in place by the pandemic. This was created, this pandemic where the average person cannot afford a house, where the average person cannot afford a regular car. This was something that was designed by the United States government with their CARES Act. This was designed. Remember when I was talking about, hey, I don't think the government should put this money. I think we should let things happen because essentially when they gave the extended unemployment, the enhanced unemployment, they gave the loans, they gave out all this money. All they did was just push this down the road. And right now we're living in the reality of America, the new America with no government subsidies, no paychecks. People are starting to get foreclosed on. People are getting evicted repossessions repossessions are at an all time high. You want to know why these people took that government money and they would have got them a fancy new ride that they couldn't afford. The pandemic has literally created the events that we have today in the new America. In the new America, I want you to think, really, really think, when is the last time you saw pretty young, attractive women making videos talking about how hard it was financially. When have you ever seen that before? First time I've ever seen it. This is the new America. Pretty women. Let's talk about the pretty women. The number of women who are running to OnlyFans, the number of women running to Camster, the number of women running to these, um, what are they called? These cam websites is at a tremendous level. The, let me go ahead and explain to you what's going to happen. All of these women are running to OnlyFans and all these other sites. And what's going to happen is the price is going to get pushed down and pushed down and pushed down and pushed down. It's just going to get because essentially there's going to be so many people going to the swap meet that the price is just going to get pushed down, pushed down, pushed down. And escorting is about to see an all time epic increase. This is the new economy. This is the new economy because homelessness is about to get stupid. The number of people who don't have a place to live, the number of people out here struggling, homelessness is about to get stupid. Van life, the number of people you're gonna see moving into a van, about to reach epidemic levels in the new America because we have a lot of things going on in the new America. Number one, you could get in the DoorDash, Instacart, Uber, Lyft, Spark, and there's some more apps I don't even know about. And you could literally sign up on Monday, be making money on Monday, be doing these gig apps. And this right here is going to create a really interesting situation for the people who get into gig work, who never have normal jobs. This is going to retard the workplace. 
it's going to retard the workplace because these folks don't know how to work with people. And this is one of the things with the gig acts. You're, you're by yourself. And this is one of the things I've seen when I've ordered DoorDash. I've seen people with their children. I've seen people with their pets. I've seen a lot of this stuff going on. And as we go down the road in new America, there's going to be a lot of pain, a lot of pain, a lot of crying, a lot of moaning, a lot of frustrated people, the level of get ready for the new set of videos that are going to come in 2024. Because here's the thing. Inflation is nothing new. If you're 30 some years old, you automatically know that the price of gas when you were 16 is not the same price that it is today. You know, inflation's a real thing. Inflation did not like sneak up on you. You knew inflation was out there, but going back to the acts that was handled during the CARES Act and the pandemic, uh, this created this situation where if you are, I'm gonna say in that 70, 80 to 70% of America that doesn't have a thousand dollars in the bank, 80% of America doesn't have a thousand dollars cash in the bank. And winter is about to be here. It's about to get scary. This is one of the reasons I'm moving. This is one of the reasons uh, I don't even think I talked about this, but I started going to the range at least once a month. Yeah, I'm going to the range once a month because one of the things and I'm going to do a whole different video talking about why I'm leaving Buckhead. There's a lot of reasons, but one of the things that I'm beginning to see is there is no separation between the haves and the have nots. Now, what do I mean? Homeless people. When I lived in Sandy Springs, there were like two homeless people that I would see for over the years, only two. Now, when I go to shop or do something in Sandy Springs, I will see a multitude of homeless people. I mean, they're literally everywhere. So what you're having is people on the lower caste system intermingling with people on the higher level of the caste system because uh, next door people be talking about the homeless people they be talking about these things that they have to do and they be talking about these situations in the new america is it's gonna be tough there will be no more handouts there will be and once again i would not be surprised if donald trump wins the presidency again because if what i think is gonna happen in 2024 happens uh joe biden is out he's out because the, the country's going to blame him for the economic mess that we're going to be in and one of the things that we will see in the new america is a rebirth of the american spirit now what do i mean by that there are people who like living in america there's a group of people who want to leave america they're going to get on a boat or a plane and go to another country and set up their lives but there's a group of people who want to stay here and this group of people want to do well and this is going to you know like what i talked about the housing in boston and massachusetts and people were doing like living with the parents and stuff and saving up a lot of money for a house in Boston. they were doing this in the 70s so what we're going to have in the new america is a rapid adjustment to the new america we're going to have people who are going to get rich in the new america we're going to have people who are going to set up businesses we're going to have people who are going to do the things that they need to do to live in the new america and to live well and you know kind of going back to my building and the number of people who got evicted it's a staggering number of people who got evicted and one of the things that happens and this for me is something that is pretty strong i go in the parking lot and i will see people driving certain cars and the first question in my mind is like why would you want to live here where the rent is high versus living somewhere where your car say you should be because these are the people who got evicted i don't see it. there's a lot of cars i just don't see anymore because these folks have been evicted and i understand one to live the high life one to be fancy and stuff but <laughs> it, it's kind of crazy it's kind of crazy what's going on because the new america is going to have all types of stuff happen to people you're going to see people go homeless and homelessness is going to be a huge issue. It's going to be a huge issue. You're going to see children starving. You're going to have children out here hungry. You're going to have all types of stuff going down in the new America. And it's going to be bold. It's going to be bright. But 
once again, as I said in the previous video, it seems very 2009-ish to me in terms of the economy and wait until the massive layoffs start. They haven't started yet. They're kind of picking up here and there. 2024, massive layoffs are going to roll. And right now, many of you are working some of these jobs and you feel that you're safe and you're gonna get that call. It's like, John, we wanna see you in the boardroom. You're gonna go in there and there's gonna be a little crew and they're gonna have your folder. And it's like, hey, John, we wanna announce that uh, you're being laid off today and this is your package and everything. And you're gonna com be completely surprised completely surprised. You just went out and bought you a new Range Rover. You just got you a new house. And you were just like, whoa, whoa, I didn't even see this coming. What do you mean you tell me I don't have a job no more? Yes, John, you don't have a job anymore. We're laying off you and a lot of other people. Here's your package and everything. We really appreciate your service, John. Have a nice life. Next, that's what's gonna be going on. And one of the things that I have really, really talked about for years is starting your own business. Now, here's where the new America is going to really screw a lot of people. A lot of people have got used to the old American lifestyle. Go out, get a bunch of debt, get a car, get a house, max out your credit cards, go to work. That's not going to work in the new America. It's just not. So number one, you're gonna have to get you some cash. Number two, you're going to have to get out of debt. Number three, you're going to, oh, the, this, this is a huge, huge part of the new America. You're going to have to work a lot. Many of you will be working seven days a week just to make it. Once again, you will not be working seven days a week to actually get ahead because you don't have a plan. You don't have a system. You will be working seven days a week just to make it, just to pay the rent just to put some gas in your car, just to, that's gonna be your life in the new America. That's gonna be your life in the new America. And there are many of you who are happy and you're doing well and you're still getting those pandemic vibes and everything. And you're gonna be the first ones who get caught up in the new system in the new America. You're gonna be the first ones who are gonna be making these TikToks and these YouTube videos talking about how hard it is, how expensive it is and all these other things. This is one of the things that's gonna happen in the new America that's gonna be waiting for you, that's going to essentially set you up for the path of doom and gloom. And I, once again, I see a, a renaissance or a reversion in America because, you know, some Americans are really, really hardy and you, you, you punch them and you throw something at them and then they just like, oh, I've been punched. And then they start to react and they start to work and they start to do things. So we're gonna see a lot of Americans who are gonna literally surprise not only their friends and family, but they're gonna surprise themselves. They're gonna be shocked. When I came to YouTube in 2009, and then 2011 happened, I was shocked. I was completely shocked. Because let me go ahead and share a story with you. That first year I made $62,000, I was thrilled. I was like, wait a minute, I can make this kind of money working from home? I like this. And then next year, I made 92,000. And at the time, I still had all my storage auction friends, connections and stuff. And truth be told, I was still selling stuff. I stopped selling stuff from the storage auction days in 2012. I was still selling stuff. I was still moving stuff. I was still helping people out. And I can't even tell you what the storage auction business is like today. I have no clue. But I can tell you that I was glad to get in when I did. I was happy that I had that opportunity because I thoroughly enjoyed the storage auction business. I really, really did. All right, so we're getting ready to do some new training. Once again, we'll help you set up your holding company and operating companies. And then we will help you get your business banking, get your first business credit card, and then the MAN program. Those links are below. Go ahead, check them out because we're gonna give you the skill sets and the tools to make it in the new America. And I saw a comment that I thought was real funny. You don't have no good news. Look, I'm not gonna sit up here and lie to you and tell you things are cookies and rainbows and cookie and punch when they're not, they're not. This new America is not gonna be playing with people. This new America is a different ball game. This new America is going to have women crying, children hungry. It's, it's coming. It's coming. So go ahead, get into the new training, and I'll see you guys in the next one.